Hey guys, I'm Jane Dupree, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make full table masse shots. Uh, and that term may scare a lot of people. Oh, full table masse shot. I don't know why that just sounds so difficult, but a full table masse shot is actually a lot simpler than a half table or right next to a ball masse shot. Uh, it's just there's less elevation needed, and there's just it's more like a normal shot. There's less elevation, uh, so all you gotta do is just aim the ball right and you make the ball. So, uh, these shots, sometimes you need to know which way to curve, which way to curve is the best. Uh, and I always like to go to where I can hit the rail. So, let's say we're right behind this three ball. This is the first thing I'm gonna show you. How, which direction do you need to curve like this? Well, it depends on if you're trying to get position, where you're trying to get position. Let's say you're trying to play the three ball next. Well, I know if my cue ball were right here, I want to be on the three ball, I could go rail first and then get on the three ball into the corner. I think I got straight in there. I could get on the three ball into the corner, then I have a real simple shot there, and then nine ball into the corner. Uh, so I know that if I go rail first, then I'll be perfectly fine. So all I gotta do is elevate and try to hit rail first that way. And if I don't, I can still catch this right side of the one ball and I'll, our cue ball have right spin and come off these two rails, leave the same shot, roughly the same shot. So, how to curve the cue ball. So, whatever direction we're curving, that is a side spin we need to use and we're gonna combine that with back spin. Uh, so, if we want to curve to the right, as we do in this case, our cue ball is coming around here and then curving to the right, we need to use bottom right spin. And most of those hits will take place around these two diagonal lines right here, bottom right and bottom left, somewhere along here. The lower we go and the more spin we add, uh, the more this cue ball will curve. And it does have delay with speed and opposite. Uh, so, if we aim... We also have to elevate our cue. We cannot just hit low right and expect to make that ball. To actually have it curve, we have to elevate our cue upwards. Now we don't need to do this because then you see it curves too much and we go on the other side of the three ball. So we just need to elevate just a bit with these full table masse shots. We also need to follow through all the way and chalk our cue. If we don't chalk our cue, we'll miss cue. Uh, and that means we'll just spin the cue ball like that. We'll mess up and it'll be a foul. So always just chalk your cue. That's just the moral. <laughs> just chalk your cue. So we're going to elevate and hit with bottom right spin. So we're going to aim to the left of the three ball to avoid it and elevate with bottom right in order to come off, hopefully go rail first and make the one ball. Only thing we need to worry about on this shot is catching that one ball full because then our cue ball has the potential to scratch if we hit it completely full. Like if, a cue, if our one ball's there, our cue ball can, you see how it goes near that corner? It has a possibility of just following it in. Uh, so that is a little risk. Uh, but if we go rail first, that should not happen. That shouldn't even come close. Uh, but something with rail first that could happen is going rail first, contacting the one and our cue ball will go off two rails and go towards this side pocket. So we're going to try to keep it at a slow, slow pace. Uh, so again, elevate your cue. We're aiming to the left of the three ball. We're elevating the back of our cue just a little bit. Using bottom right spin, we're going to follow through and our tip is chalked up. Uh, also, the type of cue that you're using does matter too. Like I'm going to masse better with my Miyuchi with my pro shaft over this little rage cue right here that I have connected to my bridge. So this is actually a plain cue that I have a bridge connected to. Uh, but I'm gonna masse better with my high quality Miyuchi cue than my rage. Uh, so that was my first cue I ever got. Uh, so stuff like this does matter. The softer your tip also, the more masse, the more spin you'll have on your uh, cue ball. So a softer tip, uh, more masse, the heavier the cue, more curve. Uh, so here's the shot.
So now we are going to go the other way with the masse. Uh, so instead of curving to the right, we're curving to the left. And I mean, you could curve to the non-rail first side. That, in my opinion, is a much smaller ball. Uh, so if we wanted to, we could elevate and go that way. But see, if we hit that rail and we don't hit that ball exactly, we could miss. And we could miss like we did before and give up ball in hand and not get a perfect shot on the three. See, if we don't take our time, this is very missable. If we take our time, we're going to make that. But if we don't take our time, that's missable. Uh, so I like to get closer to the three ball and also more of a straight shot that I know I'll have, I'll, my cue ball is going to be going towards the three. So what we're going to do, we are going to have to curve to the left now. So what spin will we use? Bottom left spin. And that is always around the diagonal lines of the IQ, bottom left spin. And we're not elevating too much because we don't need to curve too much. We just need to curve just a tad because if we're going to just avoid this three ball with center ball, you see we've come pretty close. We could actually make that. We could actually make that one ball uh, rail first without hitting that three. I'm going to change that though. Uh, but you see, obviously we don't really need to curve at all, but we just need to curve a little bit just then. We barely thinned it in. I'd like to make it uh, thicker. So elevate just a bit, just a bit, hit it at an okay speed. Uh, the harder you hit it, the less it will curve. So if we hit this really hard, you see the curve is delayed. And the softer we hit it, the earlier it will curve. So you see the curve is sped up pretty much right when I hit it. So all we're going to do is just curve around that three to the left, hopefully go rail first off that one ball and end up with a shot close to the three. Uh, so for the last full table Massey shot, I'm going to show you a Massey off of the rail. So we're going to hit the cue ball off of this rail with low right spin. Now we'll come off the rail, curve around the eight ball, make the one into the corner. Now this is a very tough shot. Only time I've seen it performed and with success is from Efren Reyes in a match against Mika Eminen. Uh, he was just snookered and he made this mass day shot around the, along the short rail to make it. And I know that it's been played in snooker a bunch. Uh, so this is actually a pretty common shot that is very useful. So we're going to hit with low right spin off of this rail, just about at the 3 4th diamond line. We're going to elevate a bit more than last time. Uh, a good bit more than last time. We need more spin on our cue ball. We're traveling a bit further dis distance and we need to curve way more than last time. Uh, so we're going to elevate more, hit harder. Again, ma even, make sure you're chalked up even more. Follow through correctly. Uh, and this shot should be fairly simple to pull off. Uh, now we're hitting low right on the cue ball. So it is around the diagonal lines on the IQ. So low right is around right here. Right there is low right. We're striking about 45 degrees of elevation. Three fourth chalk line. Uh, don't hit it too, too hard. Cause again, we won't have enough time for that spin to react. Also don't hit it too soft cause the spin will react too fast. See, we just pull into the rail too early. Uh, so we need to find a good middle between those. A good way to find that middle is just to shoot it a few times. Uh, see where you end up long, where you end up short, and then just shoot in between those two. Uh, so here's the Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button down below. If you want to be notified when I post a new video, you can click the subscribe button, then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. If you guys are looking to improve your game, I'd like to introduce you to the IQ training ball. This ball has several different contact points, A for above center, C for center, B for below center. Uh, and then what it does is when you shoot at it, a little chalk mark is left on the face of the ball in the shape of a circle. So you can tell if you're hitting exactly where you think you're hitting. 
Uh, it really is a great tool to improve your game. Uh, see if you're hitting where you think you're hitting. It's very, very important, believe it or not. Uh, so if you'd like to order the IQ, you can go down in the description. Uh, click the link, www.iqclinic.com. Also, check out my other sponsors down there, Brutal Game Gear. Uh, that is BrutalUSA.com, run by Charlie and Heather Bryant. Charlie Bryant's a professional player. He's uh, one of the best. He played in the Scotty Townsend Memorial with me uh, and in the Texas Tim Ball with me. Uh, so he really is a great guy and a great player. So go and check out his apparel company. Also check out the link to the Pool Shop Protractor uh, and check out my latest video on that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.